Hello and welcome to Finland Stash. Uh, today we are going to make uh, Anderson Pole Power Anderson Power Pole Connector, and going to show you how easy it is. So you just follow Finnish Finnish Stash's directions, and everything going to go good. First, we got to get some tools. Stash screw up. Uh, first, before we get tool we got to see what power pole connector look like. Uh, this be Anderson power pole connector. You can see one end and you can see the other end. And we're going to put that down there for a little bit. And this is the other part of the uh, power pole connector. This is what the wire goes into. And we're going to put that down there like that. And last but not least, <laughs> we got some wire. And all three of those things are going to go together. This is going to end up going into that, and that is going to go into that. So now we get the tools that we're going to need, because the right tool for the right job make big difference. Uh, these are all pretty common tools. Uh, here's the first one that we're going to need. Uh, everybody has this, so that's what it looks like. And once we're done with that. Uh, we're going to need something to put stuff together and we can use one of them and last but not least uh, in case things don't fit too good we always get the adjustment tool and uh, if we kind of screw things up we got to put them back together we always got some magic tape <laughs> and of course no matter what you do, uh, you always want to make things that are straight. And to do that, we use Stasha's level. Stash almost forget very important tool. This is uh, something that you should never be without, especially when putting these complicated connectors together. And that is my trusty blowtorch. And this helps to make things fit really good. Uh, Stash also found other tool, not really quite sure what it's used for, but uh, it, it came with connector package, so I think it must have something to do with connectors. And it looks like, uh, I don't know, big pair of pliers, or you could use it for a hammer or something, I don't know yet, but uh, we're going to find out as we uh, go along. Uh, first thing uh, Stash got to do now is that we got to get the wire, which we had in like back in step one. And then what we have to do... Uh, is we have to uh, trim like part of the end of the wire off like about three-eighths of inch from from there to there and the easiest way <laughs> easiest way stash find to do this is with wire trimming tool and stash is going to do that now uh, as soon as he gets a little bit uh, set up here uh, maybe stash do this off camera so uh, i don't confuse you guys too much uh, that worked really good and I got it all cut except uh, Stash thinks maybe he cut them a little bit too long and uh, uh, let's see if we take that and it's this has got to go onto there like that uh, shit I, I, I don't think that's right uh, boy can't even get them it on let's try this one more time there we go uh, Stash must take a look at directions. He come right back. Okay, uh, Stash read directions and find out he cut wire a little bit too long and it's uh, supposed to be all together. So here's what it should look like. This is the right way per the instructions. Now we take it the end and we slip it end onto there like that. But as you can see, it's still a little bit too long. So now Stash gonna cut them back a little bit and we're gonna make them fit. Okay, and uh, now we cooking with gas. Uh, Stash makes the fix, and uh, now we put them on, like that. Whoops. Got to squeeze the wires together. And we're going to try it again. And we stick them in there like that. And now, ooh, that's looking pretty good. And now the next thing we have to do is we have to crimp. Uh, that means squeeze together these ends so it stays hooked on the wire. And for that, we're going to use uh, Stash's, uh, Stash's special tool. And uh, we're going to give that a try right now. So we set them down there like that. Uh, 
Oh shit, it don't work too good. Uh, maybe Stash go back and read directions again. Uh, Stash read directions one more time and uh, find out that uh, one tool that we found before they do, did not know what it was. Uh, this is the tool that we're supposed to be using. So we uh, open this tool up and we close them up a little bit. And we take this connector thing and we stick them into the hole like that. And there it is. And then we can take it a wire and we stick a wire. Whoops. There we go. And then we squeeze like son of a bitch. And now we're going to do the squeeze. There. Wow, look, that works. Wow, that's nice. Pretty good job, I tell you. Uh, now the next step is we put uh, this connector that we just really snazzy looking thing we just made and we're going to put them into the uh, put them into power pole whatever the hell this thing is and you can see that there is a little metal tab there that must hook up to this thing somehow so we're going to try to make that work and that don't work shit uh, we try them like that. No, that's that's not good. Uh, okay, we tried this. We put them in there like that. Whoops. And got to wiggle them around a little bit. <laughs> and it's not going in so good. Ah, shit. Okay, stash head hunch. This might happen. So uh, we take out special tool again. And we're going to make this thing uh, work just like the instructions. And here we go. There we go. Good as new. And uh, there you go. You have it. Uh, this is how to make the Anderson's power pole connector. And should you have questions, uh, you can email, email, email me at uh, finlishstash at finlishstash.com. Thanks and see you later.